Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome to another morning devotional. Indeed, a pleasure to be ministering to you in these fashions. And as always, we continue to pray God's richest blessings upon you and your families at this time. Today, we celebrate the life, witness, and godly example of St. Ansgar of Scandinavia. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, shepherd of your people, we thank you for your servant Ansgar, who was faithful in the care and nurture of your flock. And we pray that following his example and the teaching of his holy life, we may by your grace grow into the stature of the fullness of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our scripture reading for today comes from the Gospel of Mark. Mark chapter 6, reading verses 7 through 13. Mark chapter 6, reading verses 7 through 13. Then he went about among the village teaching. He called the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over the unclean spirits. He ordered them to take nothing for their journeys except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money in their belts, but to wear sandals and not to put on two tunics. He said to them, Whatever, whenever you enter a house, stay there until you leave the place. If any place will not welcome you and they refuse to hear you, as you leave, shake the dust off that is on your feet as a testimony against them. So they went out and proclaimed that they should repent. They cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. This morning we are greeted in our Gospel reading with Jesus gathering his disciples together and now send, sending them out two by two, giving unto them authority and power to do the same work that Jesus was doing in his name. This must have been a sight to behold, just to imagine the reaction of the disciples. Although they only had a glimpse of Jesus' power and authority, in the few people's lives that he touched through the manifestation of his miracles, we read about them during this epiphany season the water being changed into wine, the casting out of the evil spirits, and the way he expound upon the scriptures, to now being told that they are even given the power and authority to do likewise. I'm sure some didn't believe it was possible. Some must have doubted, even though the evidence of Christ's glory was being revealed and recognized in real time, even though there must have been doubt, there was still trust in their master's words that this was possible. In taking on this mission of being one who was called by Christ, trusting in God in the midst of our doubt is the first step in taking part in this ministry. For this reason, Jesus instructs his disciples to take nothing for their journeys except a staff, no food, and not even a change of clothes. Truly a moment for doubt, but a moment to exercise a greater faith brewing inside them. This morning, as we reflect upon this gospel reading for this morning, let us be reminded that we are called by God. Let us trust in his will for our lives, where he is sending us, and what he is sending us to do. Let us be mindful that in our mission and ministry, 
there will be those who will welcome us and accept. And for this, we should rejoice because it is good. But there are those who will not accept and will not welcome us. Do not be discouraged. Let us boldly accept this call in our lives and proclaim the good news with the utmost zeal and understand that in our call, let us be willing to take on this mission. In his name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.